beetroot crisps are the subject of today's food for thought. My name is Jodie Bunting. This is a daily live health tip to help you he eat well and feel great. So uh, yesterday we made some kale chips. Today we are making some beetroot chips. So we're going to show you exactly how to make these lovely, delicious tasting beetroot crisps. So Hi Aram, welcome to the live video. This is a beetroot. Not many people have seen these raw before because you often buy them in a jar or you buy them in a packet where they've already been prepared. This is a raw beetroot. So what we're gonna do is just to cut it. I've top and tailed it, so I've taken the top and the bottom off. And you just want to try and cut it as finely as you can. Now, to be honest, I prefer it a little bit chunkier, so it's almost like a potato slice, but it's completely up to you. And just remind, if you do live with people in your house, reminding people you are preparing beetroot, because if they just walk into the kitchen and see your knife and your hands covered in red, they might be quite scared. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron is saying I'm on earlies for the next two weeks so off night oh that's great news isn't it welcome uh, Diamond welcome Lisa to the live video uh, you're watching from the hotel reception uh, you're taking a break from the uh, lovely sun there how many calories uh, I will post it below it's about 150 calories per beetroot so if you have the whole beetroot and obviously with some olive oil, about 100, 150 calories. So then what I'm going to do, I'll do all the dirty bits now, is just to pour some olive oil on my baking tray. Now I added a little ball, uh, added some uh, foil to the baking tray. So I've got the olive oil on there. And I'm literally just going to slice, I'm going to place the sliced pieces of beetroot there on the baking tray. I'm now going to wash my hands so it doesn't look like I've got blood stained hands. And then what I'm going to do is just put salt, nice generous amount, and then also some pepper. Now you don't need to put some extra olive oil on the top because what we're going to do, we're going to cook them for 20 minutes, then flip them over, and then you will get this. So these have been cooked for 20 minutes on each side. Uh, they are quite oily on one side. But those are delicious, guys. So, so tasty. So much more tasty than potato. This is the thing. When you try different roasted vegetables, I promise you, you will love them because it's not boring like a potato is. Hi, Michelle. Welcome to our live video. Aaron is saying Billy is watching. Lovely sun, we're having a bad storm. Oh no. Is that a sunny storm, Diamond? Uh, yes, big shout out for Billy from me and also from Aaron. Right guys, thank you for joining me. Get yourself some beetroot or any root vegetable and make some lovely roast vegetables, some crisps, some potato wedges out of them and let me know how you get on. The secret ingredient is the salt and the olive oil, guys. Any root vegetable with salt and olive oil, voila, delicious. So that's it from me, guys. I will see you again tomorrow morning. Bye for now.